So I'm getting a lot of questions on my Nissan Leaf battery that used to be in that cabin down there. And then I transferred it over to my workshop. And uh, I'm getting a lot of questions of how to wire it. So let me make a quick video on exactly how this is wired. So my workshop's electrical system is built out of these leftover parts I laying around. It's uh, basically a 12 volt system. I'm using Victron components and it says 12 volts, 3000 VA, which is uh, 2800 watts. Uh, this inverter takes up to 17 volts. Even though it's a 12 volt inverter, it takes up to 17 volts of input. And that's why I can use like a Nissan Leaf battery that I'm buying from Battery Hookup. And they, these cells are available all over the world and uh, they are very inexpensive and they are really good cells. I built this battery probably five years ago and it, it's been working flawlessly ever since. So let's take a look at this battery setup here. And if you look a little closer, it looks pretty wild, pretty confusing, but it is really simple. So let me set up the other camera and explain what's going on here. So these batteries come out of a Nissan Leaf. This is a first generation and they ended up being a warranty claim. I got these batteries on battery hookup for a really good price and I understand they're available all over the world right now. And uh, the chemistry is lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide, right? And it belongs to the family of lithium ion batteries. So that's all you need to know. So maximum voltage is uh, 4.2 volts per cell. Now, these modules have two cells in them, so that's why the maximum voltage is 8.4 divided by 2 would be 4.2 volts. So that's how you know they belong to the lithium ion family. And then uh, nominal voltage 7.6 and cutoff voltage is uh, 2.6. Um, so divided by 2 would be 5, 8, 2.8 volts per cell. Uh, also an indicator that it's part of a lithium ion family. Uh, these particular ones are 64 amp hours, okay. Uh, they tested at 72% in February of 2021. Uh, so this is a 5 kilowatt uh, system, a 5 kilowatt hour system. So times 70%, what is that, uh, 35, uh, 3.6 kilowatt hours remaining. So the questions I'm getting is, how do you wire these? And I think there's a lot of confusion on these batteries. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, I, I think I have a pretty good idea because these modules, this is one module and I have eight modules here, you know, four and four. Uh, but I, I want you to forget about all these modules. We are only focusing on these two uh, modules right here. And each one of these modules has three lugs on it or terminals, okay? So the first thing you want to determine is where's your main negative. And if, if you just look at these three terminals and the next three terminals, those are the only six terminals I want you to focus on right now. You know, take any one of these modules, put them on your table in front of you and start measuring the outside terminals, okay? Some of them are color coded, some of them are not color coded. So in my case, it's reading 8.05 volts. And I don't have a negative sign in front of my voltmeter here. So I know this over here is my main negative. If you get a negative sign, you know, if you measure it the other way around, you would get a negative sign in front of it. Here we go, negative. So you know the polarity is reversed. So find your, your main negative, which in my case is this lug right here, okay? So this is your main negative, guys. Start here, main negative, okay? And then you have one, two cells in here. So this should read four volts, or maybe a little bit less depending on your state of charge. So this reads 4.03 volts in my case. This is your first cell, from this negative to this positive, it's your first cell, period. Then the second cell, because they put two of them in this pouch, is over here, so this should read eight volts. Here we go, 8.04 volts. That's it, main negative, first cell, second cell. 
So if you want to put this in series, you take another one of these modules and flip it around upside down because this positive should connect to the next cell's negative right here. It's still eight volts, right? Because it's on the same terminal. Main negative, first cell, second cell. Your third cell is this middle one. So this should read four, eight, 12 volts, right? Let's check it. 12 volts right here. This is your third cell. And this is your fourth cell. Here we go, should read 16, 16 volts. That's it guys, there's nothing else to it. Main negative through the battery, first cell, through the battery, second cell, second cell positive to third cell negative through the battery, third cell positive, 12 volts, through the battery, fourth cell positive, 16 volts. This is your main positive, guys. That's it. That's all there is to it. And the reason I have so many cells is they are basically just in parallel. This is your battery here. These two cells are your battery. And then I just add more capacity to it. You can stack them as high as you want. You can put 20 of them in parallel. But these two center cells is really just, uh, just a battery. And then from there, of course, you hook up your BMS. This is your BMS battery management system. And your main negative goes onto main negative bus bar here, any, anywhere on here, this main negative. Main positive goes onto main positive. And then your, your leads, negative goes on negative, first cell onto the first cell, second onto the second, third onto the third, and fourth onto the fourth cell. Now I have two BMSs on here, that's why I have extra wires, but that's it. Main negative, first positive, second positive, still second positive, third positive, fourth positive. I hope that helps somebody out uh, to answer these questions. And again, you can stack them as high as you want. So I hope this was helpful. I know there are a lot of questions out there specifically uh, I'm getting a lot of questions from the Middle East and from Asia Pacific. So people outside the United States have access to these batteries and they're really good batteries and uh, the price is right. So uh, leave comments uh, in the comment section, ask questions and hopefully I can help somebody. So that's all I have for you today and I'll see you guys on the next one.